and tell the world, tell the world of His love. Good morning friends, my name is Cherky Dakulan and welcome to Evangelization TV with a mission. My mission is to tell the world of His love. Amen. So, in this episode, I'd like to share with you a secret. A secret to a, a secret formula actually, a secret formula for an effective prayer. Yes, effective prayer. Many would ask, no? Many would ask uh, how to pray, you know, so that the Lord will answer my prayer. Do I need to, like, the, the duration of the prayer? Like, I need to pray for 30 minutes, for one hour? How, how, how long is my prayer time? No? And and then uh, how about the posture? Do I need to kneel down? Do I need to raise my hands? Do I need to bring my hands on my chest? Or I, what's the posture? Oh my God! Or do do I need to pray the Bible and then reflect on the the message of the Bible? And after that, I pray and I. I talk to the Lord, I ask Him for blessings, do I need to do that? And others also would, would go to secret places, even Rome, they go to Rome just to, to ask God's blessings, just to, to ask something from the Lord, uh, begging that the Lord will give them what they, what they want, what their hearts desire, you know? So now, my friends, uh, I'd like to share with you my journey, my journey on mm, in finding the secret. Okay, this is my spiritual journey in finding the secret of an effective prayer. Yes, I I found a secret, and I want to share with you. Okay, to all my viewers, to all my subscribers, please hold on and. Discover the secret that I found for an effective prayer. Okay, are you excited? Are you excited? Hmm. Well, sometime in 2003, I experienced, I experienced a spiritual dryness. Uh, I, I stopped praying. I, I stopped going to the church to go to Mass. I stopped reading the Bible. I even quit my, my my Christian community that time. I I totally depart myself from the Lord. Yes, I I feel spiritual dryness. I don't feel like praying. And then I I start uh, uh, making friends with uh, worldly people like drinking. Uh, I go I go I started going to bars. Um, Hang out with some women, no? That 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 was my my life, no? Spiritual dryness, and then uh, then someone invited me, no? Uh, I met someone and he invited uh, she 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 invited me to the a Catholic community called Oasis of Love, you know, Oasis of Love. Hi to my friends in Oasis of Love, to the music ministry team, to the Oasis of Love. Hi, hi, hello. How are you, Kumusta? Uh, there that I was invited and uh, I attended the seminar for three days seminar, no? And then there that I experienced again the love of God. I, I found again the love of God and then uh, there that uh, my my spiritual life no mi imit og balik ako spiritual ng kinabuhi and because of that because of that i i i invited my 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 family my my mama my siblings even my grandmother that time tumbuhi pa siya i invited my lola and then one one cousin of mine i invited them no to the christian community the ways of love and with the ways of love we are we are devotees to the divine mercy so what i did what what was my approach because uh they i was informed na pag ang imong 
family members ay i-invite to the Christian community, it's very little, very difficult to invite your, your family members. So what, what was my approach was, I prayed over them. You know, I cannot, I cannot uh, forget this, that I, I woke up early at 3 a.m., you know, the Divine Mercy, 3 o'clock prayer, 3 o'clock habit. So I prayed the chaplet at 3 a.m., and after that, I prayed the rosary, and then I pray over them while they are sleeping, of course. So I, I, I prayed over them, and then, Lord, I want them to join our God. I want them to, to say yes to your invitation, Lord. Uh, to to be in the uh, for the next batch no coming naman to happen na then nag nag plan na kong na mag loan because uh, of course na na bayad no it's not free it's three days so I think uh, 850 per head so I don't have that much money because I plan to to invite mga minimum of five people you know five people minimum of five people so uh said 850 times 5 no so nagloan ko nagloan ko sa mong cooperative ah uh, yes that was my sacrifice my financial aspect no nana and then i approached my my mother first my mother no uh ma gusto ko mag appeal mo sa the waves of love ni coming na mong activity and then she turned down my invitation I, I I said uh, she turned down God's invitation, something like that, no. But then, wala ko na give up. So I I uh, again every morning, no, at three a.m. I I prayed over them. I I prayed the chaplet of divine mercy. I prayed the rosary. I prayed over them that that week, and then still. My mother refused, my Lola refused, my cousin, and I, oh my God. And then, uh, a day, to cut the long story short, uh, a day before, it, uh, mag, so mag start at, uh, it's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, no? Graduation is a Sunday, so that, that was Thursday, Thursday. Uh, 3 a.m. Uh, out of despair, despair na mo, despair na mo nga, Lord. So, uh, unknowingly, na change ako ng prayer. Like, Lord, uh, if you want, Lord God, please allow them to 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 join the seminar of the ways of love. But if not, but if your will is not today, if your will is not this coming batch, maybe the next batch. Okay, so it's okay with me. So I I pray with submission. I submit them to the Lord, no? That that was my my prayer, no? Wala wala ako nakakamya. Ingat to ang hitabo sa kong prayer. And then before I that was the pagbunta gana no pag sa Thursday 7 around 7 before I go to work, I asked my mother again, no? It invited her again and my other my siblings and my lola my my cousin but before I approach my mother man para mananghit sa iya na mula ko na ko I ask the Lord this will be the last day na invite na ko ako mama then if this is your Lord if this is not your will then okay fine no problem maybe next batch there's still many coming batches man diba diba Lord oh, okay see so pag doon ako sa kong mama, kaya manahita ko sa iyaha, isingit din ako ang invitation. Wala pa ako na kay story. Siya na mismo na yung nga, Witcher, uh, tomorrow naman to, imong giingon nga mag... Kuan ba? E yung lola, si kuka, yung ikagaw, yung mga manghul, mga pilmi, mga pilmi, tomorrow naman ka ito. Sige, sige, mga... And I was... Ha? Huh? Wow, praise the Lord. You know, um, there, no? There that the lesson that I've learned as I recall how I prayed 3 a.m. a day before the uh, seminar no, uh, I submit them to the Lord. Uh, in before I my, my my prayer was Lord I want them. It changes unconsciously that change out of despair to uh, Lord. 
Okay, if this your will, if not now, if your will is not now, then it's okay. Maybe next batch, no? There. Okay? So that's why I anchored this, this episode, anchored this episode to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 26, verse 39. It says, uh, a prayer of Christ's submission, diba? Uh, a Christ uh, prayed, talked to the Father in the Garden of Gethsemane before he was being uh, captured and put to death. No, nga. Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but your will. The Gospel of Matthew. Jesus prayed a prayer. And Jesus also uh, asking us to pray the same, that if it is your will, Lord, not my will, here is my concern. Lord, here is my prayer to you. Hear my prayer. If it is your will, do not my will. That's the secret. Then after that, I learned that I don't need to beg. I don't need to beg God for something, you know? Uh, with all the many prayer intentions that I ask from the Lord, my confidence, no? The kind of mga prayer answer, no? Um, from my wife, my two kids, my family, things that I have, people that are with me, they are God's answered prayers, friends. No? But again, because of that, because of those answered prayers, my confidence uh, really uh, up high for God that uh, He will answer all my prayers. Not my own version, but His version. Amen? Amen. Uh, the, the problem with people, the problem with us, that when we ask something from the Lord, we want, we tend to be a controller, we want to control God, that we want God to answer our prayer the exact way, the, the exact thing. Lord, I want this. This is the shape. This is the color. I want this. No. It should be God's will. Because if Mother knows best, then God the Father knows better, way, way better. He created us. He created the world. He knows what's best for us. Amen. That's why my prayer before, I want to join them. I want this. I want that. Well, friends, it's good that you, 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 you tell God what you want. That's good. You tell God what you want. But after you end your prayer, ask the Lord if it is His will. Because God's will is perfect. Perfect. Then, other people, no, we, we because we are controller, uh, we we do sacrifices, we do corporal works of mercy, we we go to communities, we feed the poor, <laughs> we we give gifts to the people, about feeding feeding program, no, we we do all this just to impress God, not to impress the Lord, so that the Lord will reciprocate to the good things that we, 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 we do, we are doing to other people, no? We, uh, but if nothing works, no? Sa ato mga sacrifices, we question God. And we ask, Natutulog ba ang Diyos? Natutulog ba? No? And we get angry. We get angry to God. Friends, we don't need to do that. Well, it's good, no? You you uh, you do good to other people. You feed the poor, give 
giving, community service, that's good. But don't use that para your prayers to the Lord will be answered by Him. No, it's not that way. We don't need to beg God. We don't need to do those things. No? Because God is not your beshi. He is not your BFF. He is not your parents, your uncles, your favorite aunts, your grandmother, your lola, your lola nga magpakyut ka lang niya. And then the lola, I'll, I'll give you, I'll, I'll contact mag food panda ka para mag Mga no, it's not that. Na mapakyut ka lang sa Lord, and then the Lord will will give what you want. He is God. He is God. You don't need to beg. You don't need to do something. Yes. You know what? I'm working in Savior for 23 years now. This is an answered prayer. You know what? Before. Again, no, uh, we we were poor until now. I am poor, no. Namaligyan lang ako mama o ako namaligyan ni sa gawa sa Savior. We are we were sidewalk vendors that time. So I have I have this. I am I was like this kid, no. Nga namaligyan ako si Garinio, Candy, sa streets, sa gawa sa Savior University, and then. I, I remember no, nga, uh, I was in the main gate kanang uh, gig, kanang gate nga ma agianan sa sakinan. I was on the side then I was looking at my my suki nga sige palit sa ko and then I asked I I uttered these words to myself no nga ay chado di mag magkuan ba kanang mag mag work sa savior Kaya chada ang sanina. Bulingit mga ikaw sa una. And then there, that ingon di ko sa kong self na apag dako na ako, di ako magtrabaho. And now I feel for 20 years, I'm here in Savior, working in Savior. I didn't do anything. I just, I know unconsciously, I was pala in front of the chapel di ba pag naka sa main gate sa kanagyanan sa sakyanan atubahan nimo ang chapel ang church to say with the immaculate conception no i was praying pala to the lord and he heard my prayers 23 years now i'm here to say you work and of course my two sons you know uh, again we were from I am a product of a broken family, you no. Know? Uh, my siblings, we were, they were, they, they are my half brothers and sister. So uh, my delivery of family name, you know, Dakulan ko at sila. And then uh, when I was still single, because my my the family of my father, actually my both parents are from Cebu City. So, I was like, I'm going to go to the So, I was like, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the So, I told the Lord, na, Lord, when I was like, I'm going to go to the Lord, all boys. I'm going to spread the house. I'm family. And you know what? I did not do anything. But now, I have two boys. You, Francis Chin, Makas Dakula, and Hail Gabriel Kiye Makas Dakula. Two boys. I didn't do anything. I didn't beg God. He is given to me. He will do it. So, just need to tell God. Lord, you will be done, not my will. Amen. So remember the Lord's prayer, di ba? Uh, just that Jesus taught us, the Our Father. I remember one occasion, ba? I met a girl. 
When God says no, because He has something greater, greater, but much greater things prepared for you, or much greater person prepared for you. I mean, yeah, I remember I met a girl in a wedding. You know? uh, I was invited by a friend to be he, one of his groomsmen, and then time na ako akong partner, the bridesmaid. And then, to cut the long story short, nag-close uh, me, and then I was thinking, no? Feeling kaya na akong nasubto na ko niya. But then, he turned down the love that I offered her, and it was really painful sa ako ang aside, no? And then, after three years, I met and my wife, the 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 perfect person that I prayed for, the perfect woman that I prayed for. I will not elaborate more why and my wife is the perfect person that I that uh, that I prayed for to be my wife. No, I have I prepared a, a vlog about that. Okay, yeah, I met M. So pakasal me. Then after three years, I met again that woman. Okay, that woman, my partner in the wedding. I met her in the office of my wife. He, she was the staff of M. My God. So uh, I told him, Lord, you really have a uh, uh, really have a sense of humor. The Lord really has a sense of humor, no? Ipamet na sa ako again ang katunta and then more kito ipano na oh church I prepared something greater for you greater person for you friends I'd like to end this episode with the with from the book of Jeremiah chapter twenty nine verse eleven it says. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and future. Remember that God's promise. Okay. I want to pray with you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, bless the person, the people who are watching this episode of evangelization tv bless them father i pray lord god that your will be done in their lives lord god that they will that they will that they will learn your will in their land lord because we know i know that you have plans for each of us that the, that your plans to prosper us not to harm us to give us hope and a future we cling to your promise, O oh God, because we know that you are a God of faithful, a faithful God, a good provider. You are our God. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friends, thank you for watching and see you in the next episode of Evangelization TV. Again, the mission is to tell the world of his love. God bless you and... Bye-bye.